Hey everybody, welcome back to the Whiskey Cove and on today's episode we have a store haul video for you folks so let's run that video. Okay then folks, let's get to, into this video then, shall we? And the same as usual, what we'll do is just check out some empty bottles I managed to kill recently, and then we'll move on to the bottles that I picked up. So first up is a Buffalo Trace single barrel. This one is from Dave Cole Liquor up in Thornton, Colorado, the biggest liquor store in the world. Uh, this has got a lot of spicier notes to uh, like a normal Buffalo Trace. It has some really nice vanillas and caramels, but I also get this like really nice bright green apple from this, and I think value for money, I paid like $26 for it. So a single barrel buffalo trace product which is about eight nine years old for 26 bucks is just phenomenal value for money so again if you get an opportunity to pick up any single barrel from buffalo trace you just got to go ahead and do it number two up on this list for the empty bottle or the bottle i managed to kill off recently is going to be a scotch actually and it's going to be a glen morange the original 10 years so if you're someone who's trying to look at getting into scotch maybe a little bit more i feel like this is a fantastic whiskey to get into scotch and uh, you know i'll just read the back here glen morange original balances honeyed sweetness with notes of citrus almonds and creamy vanilla for a rounded complexity and enticing smoothness so it has those vanilla notes as well and it's not too spiky at all i think this is about 80 percent no sorry it's 86 percent abv or 86 percent proof 43 percent abv so you're not getting that alcohol punch and you are getting some really nice vanilla and fruit notes so again you can get picked that up for like 30 bucks if that so it depends where you are in the country so moving on to ball number three and this is a fairly big one this is a midwinter nights dram act nine scene three so recently in the last few years i haven't been able to pick up any of these bottles i've really wanted to for so long and then last year for whatever reason i felt like colorado had a pretty decent distribution for them i was able to track down a couple of bottles here and i managed to pick one up whilst i was up in uh, wyoming as well really sad to see this go i recently took a trip out to utah and i, I didn't think I, ex I, I didn't expect to maybe see this or buy it uh, at a bar so i took a little hip flask and i killed this bottle so that was the last bottle i managed to kill off recently so then moving into the bottles that i picked up or obtained this month that is going to be the first one is going to be early times bottled in bond so i've had this bottle before I haven't actually tried the Sazerac new release, and I picked this one up specifically because it's like the black cap one. It's just the brown form one release. From what I've heard, there's not too much difference between the juice, and from what people who are familiar with Sazerac have stated that it's, it's gonna be the same juice up until like a couple of years time until they're able to get through those initial four years, which is how old this bowl is. But you know, these are starting to vanish off shelves, these black caps. So I wanna keep it, I wanna do some videos with this as well. So I think this is a really awesome pickup, and I think this is like $23, $24. So then coming in at bottle number two for the bottle I picked up recently, and that is Ancient Age 10, which is of course a Buffalo Trace product, thus being Sazerac. This is 45% ABV or 90 proof. This is a 1.75 plastic bottle. I found it in a liquor store in Kansas in some bottom shelf whilst I was traveling through. I think I paid like $23, $24. This is a really great daily sipper. Not too high on the proof, but not too low. You get some of those standard uh, Buffalo Trace qualities with this as well. And it's just good value for money and an everyday sipper. So it'll replace the one I have, which is coming to an end over there. And then uh, we'll stick with the ancient stage 10. So then for ball number three that I picked up recently, and that is gonna be Old Grandad Bonded. So I've been meaning to pick this bottle up for a while. I haven't actually tried this one. So I'm hoping that it lives up to this reputation that it's kind of punches so far above its weight, kind of like uh, the early times bottled in Bond. I think in a video up in, uh, in a video up and coming, I'll have to pit a couple of these kind of like high hitting bonded whiskeys against each other. And I think that this should do really well. Obviously coming in 50% in ABV or 100 proof, I believe this is made by Jim Bean as well. A lot, sometimes people say it's kind of like a higher proof Basil Hayden's. I guess we'll have to wait and see and see how this works out. So that was all Grandad Bonded. So then coming in for bottle number four are the bottles I picked up recently. And that is of course, Buffalo Trace single barrel. Of course, as I've said already in this video, if you see a single barrel, you pick it up. And that's exactly what I did with this one. This was about $27, so a little bit closer to 30 than I'd like. This was from Northridge Liquors, um, which is out of L Laramie, Wyoming. 
So obviously I haven't got into one of these before. I haven't tried a store pick from this store. It's just gonna be really interesting to see the kind of like the palette that the person who picked this likes. It would have been nice if it would have had some of that old single barrel from that old Buffalo Trace and pitted it against each other for one I showed you and uh, the bottles I've killed. Nevertheless, when we get this opened, I'm sure it will be fantastic. So that was Buffalo Trace single barrel. So the fifth ball I managed to pick up was Hidden Barn Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is of course open because I recently did a review on it which if you'd like to watch that review, you can watch it up here. Um, and also, I'm not gonna get into too much of those flavor notes because I don't wanna spoil the review or my opinion on this bottle. Uh, the, this distillery has uh, generated a lot of press lately. If you're not too familiar with Hidden Barn, uh, you can look up on the internet and find out a little bit of information about them. I paid $73 for this bottle, which was bang on the money, I think. I think retail was 75. So I was really excited to get, to get this because it's a brand new distillery, batch one, a lot of press. So really happy to get this bottle and add it to uh, my drinking collection. So I'm coming in on the last bottle and a bottle I got really fortunate with. Soy liquor store here uh, in and around Colorado has like a really good rewards program where you're able to like uh, spend money and just generate points. And with those points, you can use them on allocated bourbon that comes in throughout the year. So I was really fortunate to get this bottle. It was a little bit pricey, but it's in line with the, you know, the retail of this bottle. And that is Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Uh, this batch is batch 66, coming in at 64.85% alcohol by volume. I've never had one of these Joseph Magnus uh, cigar blends before, so I'm really excited to get into this. Uh, I've only tried a couple of other different cigar blends. I think like a Good Times cigar blend and uh, a Copper Sky cigar blend before. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this stacks up. This is a straight bourbon whiskey finished uh, in almond, yak, sherry and cognac casks. So I'm hoping a lot of those flavors and the sweet cognac kind of a vanilla flavor comes through in this whiskey. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. So I do these store hauls. So you folks out there know what I'm getting here in the cove. And maybe some bottles that are coming up here on the channel in some like reviews of some whiskey battles. And also it might give you a little bit of information about MSRP here in Colorado for some of these bottles and, and like what I'm finding in the nearby states as well. But so if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as we continue to make this community grow as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time. Cheers.